Hisma fighting back. He's on the inside at Redgate. But the door is very firmly shut, this time by Whittam. From Redgate, they go through Hollywood and then drop down towards the old hairpin at the very bottom of the hill. Hislop ganging up on him again. He's got the inside for the old hairpin. He should be able to go through. He does go through. The determined Steve Hislop retakes the lead. It pushes Whittam down into second place and this is the best race we've had all season as far as the lead battle is concerned. Coming up into Coppy's corner, Whittam looking for a way through on the inside of Hislop and again the door is shut. Again, Whittam has to stay behind. A lap ago, we saw him power his way past, coming down towards the S's. Is he going to do it this time? Remember, his lot's bike a bit lighter, but Whittam has the inside, his lot the outside line. They turn in. His lot has to give best, and James Whittam comes through. Heading down now towards the Melbourne Hatton. Whittam, winner of five out of six races so far, is being caught by his lot, and through he goes on the inside. Steve Hislop, as if from nowhere, came barreling down the inside of James Whittam, right up alongside the Yamaha rider, but he didn't quite give him the lead. Whittam fighting back as they now come out of Goddard, all over the curbs goes Whittam. He comes across the line, heading down towards Redgate once again, and Hislop has still not given up. He tries the inside at Redgate, he's through. Whittam tried to come across it in, but it didn't work. Hislop backs off there. Through Hollywood. Now dropping down the hill towards the old happen at the bottom. Whittam determined to get the lead back. He tries the inside, he slides under Steve Hislop and through he goes once more into the lead. The Yamaha is ahead once again of the Honda in this fantastic battle. They're starting to close now on the slower riders as they come up in towards Coppice. Mickey Davidson with a Kawasaki gets lapped there as Hislop and Whittam, second and first respectively, battle past. Whittam the leader. Hislop, grimly determined to get that lead back. He's coming now down into the S's. Closing right up there and going through. Hislop goes through as Whittam left his braking desperately late and almost ran out of road. It gives Hislop the lead. Down towards the Melbourne Hatton. Very heavy braking indeed now. Coming through the right-hander, up the hill towards Goddard's. Whittam is running out of time. There's the left-hander to come, and Hislop looks as though he's going to win it. He takes the tight line, making sure Whittam stays behind him, but Whittam gets very much closer as they come through. The flag is at the ready, and Hislop wins here at Donington. James Whittam takes second place, and just two tenths of a second separates them at the flag, and the two riders acknowledge each other's efforts. This is what happened to Whittam. He came in too quickly, ran wide, and Hislop pounced. A very popular winner and it shows that the fast orange Yamahas are beatable after all. So Steve Hislop, the only man so far this year who's been able to beat the Yamahas.